this is a typical child in the preoperative holding area, uh, just about to undergo surgery. Uh, it's actually, as you can see, it's pretty happy, except that if you look at the facial expression, it's not that good. And you bring this child into this operating room, and it's, you know, this is a typical operating room, fairly large. It's actually empty because it's 7 a.m. before the production line has started. Um, and what you get is you can get a child like this who is fairly happy, and she puts the mask on her face, and she's doing well. Uh, what you also may get is a child like this. And um, let's see where. Looking for the pointer here. The very top, there you go. Good description. Uh, so we have that. Occasionally we may have this. Um, and in the post-operative area, we have this. Okay, now, the first question that I would ask is, so what? Okay, now typically, um, I give a lecture such as this in front of surgeons, in front of anesthesiologists, and you know, the audience today may be a bit more in tune with this issue and this question may be totally, well, what do you mean? It's wrong, and that, that's good, it is wrong, but we really have to answer this question within three domains. It has to be in terms of evidence-based medicine, it has to be in terms of disease outcomes, and it has to be in terms of system outcomes. If you're not going to be able to pull this topic within these domains, we're not going to be able to advance the field, at least within the perioperative settings.